Hi guys! I wanted to uh, do a flip through of a couple of like I guess micro mini journals that I finished up a couple days ago and I do have these both listed in my Etsy shop for sale. Um, there was another one that um, was even smaller than these that actually sold so a couple days ago. Um, anyway so I thought it would be a good idea to to uh, flip through both of these. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so the first one is just, um, it's a little Shakespeare book. Apparently, uh, Macbeth, um, was the only, well, and some poems, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, um, so there's a little bit of, um, oh gosh, what is this stuff called? Um, seam binding that I dyed with some, uh, alcohol inks. Um, I just bought the giant roll of white and then, um, you know, dyed, dyed them a whole bunch of different colors. That was pretty fun. Let me just show you real quick. See, see, looky, all those different colors. So cool. Yeah. Just with alcohol inks. So, anyway, <clears throat> that was really fun. And I actually cut a whole bunch of strips out of the silk that I just got to um, to use as closures. So, all right. So this guy is made uh, with two signatures, and I attached one of my little um, art tiles, I guess you would call them, on the front. Um, it's not like a tuck or anything. It's just you know glued on there. Um, and then a little garment pin with another one of my little tiny um, little charms. This is perfect. Um, and then just a little piece of lace on a, um, a velvet choke, like a, you know, you use on a velvet choker type of clasp. Anyway, on the front. So it's like a double layer of um, seam binding. So kind of hard to keep this super flat, but I'll do my best. So I went a little bit colorful, I guess, on this journal. Um, more colorful than I normally do. But, um, so I'll just kind of pull out most of the tags and things like that and give you an idea what's in there. Um, this is actually a label from, um, like, uh, when you buy a box of like canning jars, these are the labels they give you to stick on your jars. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> a little piece of coffee dyed paper with a punched edge. And just a little tag, a piece of, um, silk on the corner there. This little envelope with some little tags inside. Just some little random things. And I actually stamped this with the um the roller stamps. I was playing with those one day. Pretty fun. <coughs> little tiny almost a cluster there. A piece of coffee dyed paper. <clears throat> People don't realize that, you know, even like a little tiny journal like this is just as much work as like a bigger journal, if not more, because I don't know, it's like everything is sort of magnified because of the size. I don't know, it's weird. <clears throat> little tags in here and I basically just use a lot of like scraps and stuff you know in the mini journals I save basically every scrap of paper I get my hands on and um, repurpose it so just a little cut out and I do try to pay attention to whether or not you could actually write on this stuff you know um, and if there's a little bit of text on it or whatever, you know, I take that into consideration whether or not you could just write over the text or, um, you know, I don't do a lot of, um, anymore. I mean, I used to use gesso a lot and just kind of lightly coat stuff, but I don't know, maybe I've gotten a little lazy about that. This is from that map that I just love. Oh my God. I love that map. I wish I could find another one. So here's just a little ticket made out of a scrap and um, a little tag. I used my peg stamps and 
you know, stamp some butterflies on there. This is a little coffee dyed uh, lace flower. And basically the same thing on the other side. We'll flip out a little bit cluster. And, you know, playing cards fit perfectly in this size um, glassine bag. So basically that's what I've been doing, just putting a playing card in, in any of those that I use. This has a little piece of late, or, uh, velvet on it. And a little scrap of book paper from the airplane maintenance book. Tiny postcard. And I love this little bingo game. They're so cute. So cute. <laughs> oh, Steven. He's teasing me. So I, um, like I told you guys before, I scanned a whole bunch of images out of the, one of the Dover, like, um, art deco design books or whatever. And all the images in those Dover books are for the most part, they're copyright free. I mean, you can't sell them as your own designs or anything, but you can use them in your, your creations, you know, and they have some awesome designs, you know, I mean, I don't know. It's worth, um, you know, looking into if you're looking for some vintage images, few pieces. I'm not going to take every single paper clip apart, but um, some little pieces of ephemera and a little tag. Just another piece from the, you know, scan. <clears throat> it's a little folded piece of like sewing ephemera. Nope. Another playing card. And this envelope just like kind of started falling apart. So I just left it that way. And I found this little, like, um, this is a part of a greeting card. It was a thank you card. And I just cut that end off because I like the, the image on there. is from the set that I just got recently off of eBay, um, one of the bridge sets, and I love those, like, super 70s butterflies. <laughs> A little glassine bag with some paper confetti. And Eiffel Tower playing card. coffee dyed tags in here on each side. And these stickers are lifting just a little bit. I'm going to have to glue those down a little bit better. I thought maybe that was going to happen. So you guys have if you've watched, you know, any of my other videos, which, you know, hopefully you have or will, um, I hope you'll realize that, you know, when I'm making these journals, like, I don't just, like, create every single tag as I'm making the journal or, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> like I'll sit down one day and I'll just do a ton of these little tags you know, I'll coffee dye just a whole bunch of them and then stamp them and stick them in my tray um, to use later. So, um, because that way I can just, you know, look for the stuff that I want to use in the journal um, and just grab it. You know, it's just easier that way. So, some days I just work on, you know, creating tags or... Um, things like that, or just coffee dyeing all day or whatever. Um, and then other days I'll work on stitching together books or, or whatever. 
but um, so that's kind of how my process works. That's because I like to work on multiple books at the same time. I think um, that just makes that process a little bit easier. This is hold it. <laughs> And I embellished a few of the tags, you know, like this one, while I was putting this together. Yeah, I attached that stuff on there. So, a little flashcard, a little tiny one. And yet another playing card. And then a uh, coffee dyed tag in the back. In this, it's probably the biggest tag in the whole book in this pocket on the back. Okay, so there's the first one. All right. And then the second one is this a um, little bit larger hardcover book. Uh, again, two signatures. I have it stitched in with the um, using the nano cord. It's like um, 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 it's called <laughs> paracord, like nano cord. Anyway, um, and I kind of singed the edges, you know, the ends of these, so that, so that it won't come untied, and you know, it's good to go. Um, nothing, you know, this one's actually pretty well um, kept, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't have a bunch of stuff hanging off of it. And I kind of like that. It's a little bit more simple and um, except for the little tag here. So, and I really like um, contradiction in my books kind of, you know, like I love that this is the businessman's handbook, right? And the contents of this book has absolutely nothing to do with that. Um, I just like that contradiction, that contrast, you know, it's actually kind of girly and, you know, floral on the inside. So, like, I don't know, maybe it was, this was um, some woman's husband's book or something, and maybe he died, and so she made this book out of his book or something. I don't know. Go with it, right? That's kind of what I feel like when I'm making junk journals. Like I try to think about like the what if situations um, for the ephemera that I'm using. You know, like this little drawing of a dog right here. Like, I don't know, maybe that was their dog that died like 10 years ago. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of morbid, but, uh, and you know, maybe um, he was a scientist too. So like these little flashcards, these little formulas and stuff, who knows? Or maybe secretly she was a scientist back in the day and or not even secretly so this is one of those little um, frames that um, has the acetate in it and I just use some images out of you know an old book and um, yeah so this is from their trip to Africa <laughs> anyway you get the idea some randomness in here I do try to stay pretty random like I you know I've told you before I'm not um, skilled at themes you know at themed journals but I'm working on it I have some gardening ones that I'm working on and I think they're gonna turn out pretty cool this is a tally sheet I think yeah tally card Lots of little pockets and tuck spots and stuff like that. There's a couple of tickets and things like that in these pockets. Just playing card. This is actually an old card, but it was um, still wrapped in the package, so it looks brand new. Just a couple of little tags.
it's amazing how much you can get into one of these little books, you know. I try to keep a lot of the um, strings from the tags inside the book so they're not all just flopping around on the outside. coffee dyed tags and some of that braille book paper and I just kind of you know folded this folded this over and then back and made it into basically two pockets little tiny tags Another playing card, just in a standard. This is like the Braille, um, I don't know, like cheat sheet. So, like, if you want to learn Braille, um, here's the key to it right here. <laughs> it's one of my old family pictures that I reproduced. Um, yeah, I have no idea who those people are. All I know is they were in my dad's family, and that is obviously in Iowa. Anyway. <laughs> well, maybe not obviously, but I know that he lived in Iowa. So. Yeah, like, you know, for a couple days, all I was doing was, you know, stitching... Um, tags and stuff on my sewing machine like that's all I did for days um, so now I just have a whole bunch of little you know tags that are made um, using the sewing machine so you know and I can just use them you know at will rather than you know pulling out my machine and um, you know making a stitch tag every time I want one so it's so another one of those images in the with the acetate. You can kind of see it shiny there. <laughs> and then just some ink of gold around the edges of the black paper. And the paper I used to make this little frame, I made a bunch of them, was actually from, from a really old uh, photo album. So it's like um, kind of brittle and stuff, but, you know, it's all glued together, so it holds up pretty well. Yeah, and I saved all of that paper from those that, that I have this really old um, photo album. So I saved all the paper, and a lot of it um, was written on with pencil, so you can still read it on the black paper. So I saved all that paper. It's kind of fun to use it here and there. <clears throat> anyway, there's a little glassy envelope with a tag inside. Just a couple more in this pocket. Star, um, some advertising. The other half of the Braille alphabet. And playing card in there. This one's, these are really old. They're super like discolored, you know. <clears throat> the other half of the Braille paper, and here's a piece of the, um, um, aircraft maintenance paper. <laughs> I'm going to use every single bit of that book. Not going to waste any of it. All right. So that's the second one. And um, I'll put a link in the description of this video to my Etsy shop for um, each of these journals. And um, they're still there. So if they sell, I'll um, edit the title of the video so it'll, you know, reflect that it actually had sold. And I really need to do that on some of my other videos, I know. Um, I've gotten a couple of messages asking where that journal was, and it's one that actually already sold. So I need to 
get better about doing that. But you know what? I only have so much time. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, um, share if you want. And, um, you know, click the bell and all that so you know whenever I make a new video. And I'm still thinking about doing live streams on Sunday. So, um, and Laura's out there marketing her little heart out for me, and I appreciate it. <laughs> you're, you're awesome, Laura. Um, anyway, well, thanks a lot, you guys. Take care. Love you.